How is everybody doing today? In today's video, I'm going to be a little bit creative and I'm going to show you guys how to create a Mr. Popo-esque character and how to acquire his item items of clothing. Now, first of all, you will need to have access to the first DLC pack that was released just yesterday. And you'll want to jump into the first of the parallel quests that become available called Revenge of the Tuffle. It's not... It's not a hard quest, the requirements for the ultimate finish aren't too hard to come uh, to complete. You only have to defeat uh, Baby in I think 5 minutes, which really with any of the Great Ape ones you should be able to defeat them in like less than a minute. So we'll jump into this, Wait, I think we started the Capsule Corporation, yeah. So. What I like to do, I like to charge up before I jump into the portal just to um to prepare myself and I don't get attacked by baby with no no key. Planet Tuffle. So I found that a hundred percent of the time so far, I've gotten a drop from this mission. That could that could change, but so far, a hundred percent of the time I've either got Z souls, abilities, capsules, which is really weird because normally you go through quests trying to get items of clothing, abilities, and they just don't drop. But for some reason, this time with this mission in particular, I'm yet to do the other DLC ones. But the drop rate for this is pretty good so far, so ho hopefully, I'm not jinxing myself, which would be quite a pain. And you have to be careful uh, for one of Baby's attacks where he does like this massive somersault flip thing. I was doing one of the uh, the time patrol quests and it absolutely annihilated me and I had to start the mission all the way from the beginning again which was kind of a pain but so we should be able to grab his tail now and take him out. I'm really disappointed that the great apes are so like easily KO'd. Like I know the tail was going to be a weak point but Jesus they do so much damage and this is only the second time I haven't got the ultimate finish thing. The rate which, even though you complete the task to initiate the next section, it, that's that as well as the item drops is random, which is really annoying. But anyway, this makes this a whole lot easier because you only need to fight pen and trunks, which isn't really that necessary at all. So we'll see if we dropped anything. We Oh wow, there we go, I jinxed myself. Luckily, I was able to acquire the items of clothing before this, so let's jump to the character creation. Alright, so once you've exited your game, started it back up, and selected a new character, what you want to do is you go straight to the margin, which makes the most sense. Unless, I mean, you could make like a human or Saiyan looking Mr. Popo and just darken the skin, but I feel the male margin suits it just a little bit better, even though he is a little more overweight than what Popo generally is. And you want to... I, I'm stuck between these two, but I think this one suits his height better. And you want to leave the body type where it is because otherwise he's too fat or he's too skinny. In the middle is just right. And it doesn't really matter what what hair or ears you go with because you've got the turban to, to uh, cover that up. But I like taking his ears off just, just to make 100% sure that there's nothing poking out or anything like that. And for his eyes, those, those big staring eyes, you want to go number... S wow, number three. And then that automatically puts your pupils to number 9. And after that, that's the base for him so far. So, Mr. Popo is not pink, or red, or grey. He's black. So, once we've done that, we can leave the other items of clothing that colour and leave that there. And... I think... Uh, I don't know, because obviously there's nothing that sounds like him at all. Really, so I... I think I might go with number six. I've listened to these before, so I kind of have a um, an idea in my head and what they sound like. And his name, of course, Mr. Popo. Capitalizing with the L2 on the PlayStation 4 controller is very odd because I was used to doing it. I believe it was R2 on the uh, PS3. Anyway, Mr. Popo. And we should be good to go. So once you confirm it, you'll be... Anyway, but before I get into that, up close and personal, Mr. Popo is going to be 
friggin' strong when it comes to hand-to-hand -hand combat. He just seem he just seems like he would be. Anyway, once we spawn in to Toki Toki City, this is where the the meat of this character creation uh, comes into play. Once it wants to connect me to these universe servers, maybe if this takes too long, I'll probably just edit it so it's seamless and crisp, and it doesn't take 45 minutes to get into the server. It's weird. I know it's still online. But you'd think getting into the single server would take a little less time than the multi-lobby. But I suppose that wasn't the case. Ooh. Stylish. Alright, so we're 95% done with this creation. So of course, what you want to do now is go to the options menu and click customize and change the equipment. So obviously you're going to be selecting all of Mr. Popo's gear. Wow, I have a... I'm pretty sure I got all all of Devilman's gear before I even got um, all of Popo's gear. Popo doesn't have any gloves, so we're just going to take them off. Now, I know his hands, like, are bare. He has bare hands. And the red lips, obviously, can't really do much about that, but it still looks reasonably close uh, to Popo himself. Mr. Popo's shoes, and, of course, his turban. And so there you have it. Mr. Popo in Xenoverse, customize him with key blasts, strike supers, anything that you want to do. Personally, I'd, I'd go with the close-up uh, strike super one, just because it seems like, because he seems so mysterious and you've never seen him really fight, that he would be very powerful just in a hand-to-hand -hand combat. So there you have it, Mr. Popo in Xenoverse. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave it a like and subscribe if you want to see more Xenoverse content. Also, let me know in the comments section what characters have you created or what characters have you seen created roaming around Toki Toki City while you're playing online. Anyway, as I said before, I hope you enjoyed this video. Until my next Xenoverse video, have a fantastic day.